Hey everybody, it's Ryan here from Android Coliseum. I'm going to do a review on the TomTom Tom Touch. Now this is an, uh, a fitness tracker, so it's not a smartwatch. And this is where I think a lot of my confusion and, and trying to use this is I'm trying to use it like a smartwatch and, it, and it's just not. It's a fitness tracker and that's where I, I've, I've had a tr difficulty. So this is what, like I think it's 190 bucks uh, when you buy it here in Canada. And it looks very similar to the Fitbit Alta, if you're familiar with that, except that it has this little button here in the front. And I got messages. Um, that button corresponds to this little button there. And the idea being, let me take off my watch here, is that when you put it against your skin and you tap this, it'll actually send a current around, you know, through that one, through your arm, back through your finger, into here, and it'll allow you to do um, body composition, tell you your fat and muscle composition. So let me just bring that up again here. Actually, I do. I do really like the um, the strap it has on it. I, I, I got to say, it is kind of nice that it just you can't see it off screen as I'm putting it on, but you just kind of slide it through, snaps, and it holds in place very well. My only downside to this is that Tom Tom is upside down there compared to you know seeing the screen there. Anyways, that's just. OCD me. Uh, I wish you could have had the opportunity to have your display going this way, kind of like the old Gear Fit. But um, so I just kind of tap it to wake it up sometimes. The button's a little finicky for me, so I can swipe around, eh, swipe around into the different uh, features. I haven't worn it today, so it's going to have no details on this. Uh, and I would go and I see, oh, there's the thing for body composition. Press the button and you hold it now. If it works, it'll just send a thing to your the phone app. If it doesn't work, it'll show a little red X. Or not a red X, but a little X. And I would say more than half the time, I get an X. I don't know if I got weird skin or something. Uh, whatever it is, I might have a hard time doing it. Or make sure I'm not touching anything else or something. But oftentimes, I get an X. next again so it's supposed to work it's funny when some days it'll just work no problem maybe it's me i need to be sweaty a little bit who knows and then it pairs up to the app here your tom tom sports app um now the other problem i have with this is that it always says it's preparing to sync and i've had times where it says it's preparing to sync and it's going to take a long time to actually say sync. Well, actually, you can see that it's connected there. It's actually connected. It says it's connected, but it's preparing to sync. And it just takes a while to do whatever it is. Uh, meanwhile, it'll track your activities. So you can sort of see uh, days that you've gone out for a run or whatever. So this is the weird thing. You have to tell it first off that well, let's say this gym. I have to say that I actually went and did something. I have to change that gym. It wasn't a gym. It was actually a run or a ski because when you're on the app itself or on the watch itself, you swipe down. Where is it now? No, no, keep going. That thing to say, okay, I'm going to start an activity. And I can't change. It's just That's just the, the basic gym app. And I would say start. And you go for a run, you do a movement, and then you hit stop. And then it syncs up to the app. And then the app thinks that you're at the gym. Or you're just doing activity. See, I'm not, I'm not used to that. I'm used to being able to tell distance and tell um, everything else. Um, but no, I have to go and tell it. No, I was I was actually running. So, but it's no way to, whoops. No way will it say, know what kind of uh, distance I ran. Um... So it's it's kind of hard to sort of I'm just not used to it. I'm used to but I got to say it it measured my heart rate quite well. I got a the entire time. That's kind of cool. And then couple that with the uh I like using Endomondo so it automatically brings that kind of workout information to Endomondo with that. So if I can go back to last week here when I used it for that full week here so here's one of the runs. Well, no, that wouldn't have been it. That's only 3.4 kilometers. No. Uh, I don't like endomodel so much sometimes. 
Let's see, this three kilometer one? Okay, so this three kilometer one. No, that was the one I did. No, where is it? This one? Of course, I can't find it now. But it actually showed me my heart rate. Uh, this one? This one? Uh, anyways, no, now I can't do, I can't show it to you properly, but it does sink in. It did sink in quite well, and I kind of like that. I like being able to see my heart rate monitor, but again, this is just a fitness tracker. It's just going to tell you that you moved, and it measures your heart rate. Um, you have to do everything else out. Personally, I'm more of a fan of a smartwatch where it's going to tell me my distance and running speed, etc. Um, so if you like a Fitbit, Fitband, uh, fitness tracker band kind of thing. This is kind of neat. And it does have the opportunity to test your body composition. If it works for you, I'm having a bit of issues with it. Um, but for 190 bucks, it, it does stick out from the Ulta a little bit in terms of the fact that it has that feature uh, where the Ulta doesn't. Uh, the battery lasts me probably about three days before I need to charge it up. And this is the coolest thing actually about it. This is what I really, really like about it. I don't know about the Ulta, whether it does this or not. So it just easily snaps in and out of this little holder in there. And then when you get it out, there's a USB port. So simple as just plug it straight in. I don't have to do anything else to it. I don't have to get a special cable or a cradle. My wife's Fitbit, I have to get an extra, you know, charging housing thing for it. It just plugs straight in. And then with the app on the desktop, it automatically comes up and it'll apply whatever updates and syncing it needs to do. But uh, yeah, it's not for me, unfortunately. Because it is kind of stylish. People I did, I showed it to did like it. They like that little uh, button there. Um, but yeah, for me, I'm more of a watch. For you, you may be more of a band. So what do you think? I'll have a full review on the website for you to you know go through a few more of the features of it. If you have any questions, just uh, give me a holler. Thanks.